Yes. Um, people, um, there are many people in Israel, Eric Sharon, one of them, who believes that if the United States thinks it can dictate policy to Israel, they can keep their money, that Israel should be weaned off of non-military aid right. anyway from the United States. Mm -hmm. um, if we follow your path of expelling Palestinians from the West Bank and Gaza, um, the issue will become not the withdrawal of help, meaning the United States, okay, we're not going to help you anymore, but the inflicting of pain by the international community. If the EC can consider sanctions now, when I feel Israel is relatively blameless, what's going to happen if your program is implemented? And finally, I'd just like to point out that I think it's taken as a given that no country can withstand co I mean, international sanctions, economic sanctions from the world community if they're united. Not South Africa, not Iraq, not Israel. And in that way, I feel that your positions are putting Israel on a collision course with the country that I was born in and the country that I love, and I don't want to see that happen. I have news for you. You're on that collision course right now without Mayor Kahana. Excuse me? You're on that collision course right now without Mayor Kahana. As soon as that Gulf crisis ends, guess who's next on the agenda for George Bush's new world order? If you're happy about George Bush, and I am happy, about him taking a stand against Saddam in Kuwait, then bear in mind that all the Arab states that are, are backing Bush are telling him, him now, after this is over, the next step is the occupied territories. You're on collision course now, fella. You're on collision course, and you have a problem. You have a problem. But it's not me who, who is your problem. Well, wait, wait. <laughs> right there, right there, right there. Or as they say, shwai shwai, right? Shwai shwai. Uh, it may indeed be that they'll cut off aid to us. Let me tell you, first of all, in, in our platform, we have a major plank in which we call for the ending of American aid to Israel. I don't want American aid. We become a junkie. Every single year we get our annual fix. And what happens is we are dependent on it. And when America says no, we say no. They says boo, it's boo. I want to be an independent state and I'll eat tomatoes once a week to be that independent state. I don't want them to send flowers to my grave to show how much they love me. The fact is that if Israel would become a free enterprise country, if they would dismantle the, the uh, bureaucrats and socialism and the pkidim or the clerks, and they allowed people to invest in Israel and make a lot of money, you would get billions of dollars of private money coming into Israel every single year. But they don't. I know wealthy Jews in this country and wealthy non-Jews who want to make money and who would love to invest in Israel and not Singapore. But in Singapore, they welcome you. Come on in, whatever you want. The main thing is build us a factory. In Israel, you go through the seven circles of uh, Jewish hell. You need a permit, the license to get the permit, and then they ask you, and how much do we get out of it? He's putting the money. Give him 20 years tax-free. Let him build a factory first and, and give jobs to us and export and hard currency. Let, let him do it. We Jews have made every country rich in which we've lived except Israel. Well, so don't worry about American aid. I don't want it. I want us to be treated on an equal level, not like, like some serf. I don't want the aid. I want Jews to earn their own way. I want Jews to learn to work hard, to work hard again. I don't want Arabs building, building my houses. I want Jews building the houses, collecting garbage, paving their roads. That's what Zionism was always meant to be, to make us normal. And secondly, finally, as a rabbi, I must speak to you. Once upon a time, we Jews believed in the burning bush, right? Why did you exchange the burning bush for George Bush? Where is your faith that the Jewish people, if it does the right thing and has faith and, of course, a powerful army, if it does what he wants, he'll do what we want. 
Have faith. If we Jews hadn't, hadn't had faith for 2,000 years, we'd have long since converted. Have faith. We are winners. Uh, wait, 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 just, just a second. Uh, go ahead. Okay, one more question here, and then no, two and two, and then afterwards. No, yeah. go ahead. Go on. Okay. 